Hi there. How are you? My name is Anna and today I'll be your teacher. Today we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do some animals in play. So pretty much everything you need is some play that I've got over here. I mean, it's a new package. I mean, you can use um, foamy if you want to or play-doh or whatever. But the whole point here is that today we're going to have a lot of fun. Are you ready? So before we start, I would like to ask you to be really careful with the surface you work on. I mean, if you work on a table, you may um, have problems with play later on. So if you have something like this or an old notebook you don't need or an old book you're going to throw away, um, it's a good moment to use it as surface for your work. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is the Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is a pig. Do you like pigs? I love pigs. Okay. So we have this color which is like mm, skin color, like pinkish. If you don't have it, don't worry. Um, you can use white, pink, and a bit of yellow. Okay, so we're going to try to separate our colors here. We're going to separate our colors and try to mix a bit more. I mean, in my case, I have um, some leftovers from other projects, which is fine. We can always recycle. And I'm going to start um, working this with my hands so it looks pretty much the same color. look pinkish you know I think it does okay, let's continue mixing the colors and maybe I can share some interesting facts about pigs okay. in the meantime we're going to continue working on this and it's going to be a pretty simple thing to make. It's just like a warmer. Um, let's see. So, first. Of, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is this bowl. Okay, it's like. like this okay then we're going to put it place it on our on our mat or wherever you're using and then we're going to create this we're going to create the feet okay you know they have like chubby like small feet they're very short okay so we do this too and put them here I mean just look at the size of the body I mean this is not very big, but the feet have to be the feet have to be pretty much the same size. Okay, so just number three and number four. Okay, so I place the body over the feet and from the bottom it looks like this 
okay? It doesn't matter if it's not even. I mean, you can always go back and change it. But this is pretty much the body with the feet. Then I create, I make this other ball, which is a big smaller because we're talking about the head. Okay, here is the head. Like this. And now we need our piggy ears. So these are like small triangles. <coughs> <coughs> so these are like small triangles. One ear. Another ear. like this, this nice little piggy, and then you have the nose, you know that they have like a very strange nose, very particular, well let's make this little cylinder, like this, and then these are fingers, and it's like the mouth or it's like a nose like with the like, like okay so it looks like this Yay. now we need to work on the eyes okay one two eyes white part, the, the white session that we all have. Okay, so we have two eyes and okay, we have a small bowl here. We have another small bowl here. It's very tiny can you see it super small and now we have the two eyes it's a happy pig okay all we need now is um, the tail and to put some holes in the in the nose so it can breathe right so for the tail, you know, they have this curly little tail. Um, what I do is I first create like a small snake, like very thin and small snake. I put here. Okay, in the back. Oops, it fell. I mean, it happens. So be very patient because this is like the most delicate part of this cake. Look. And now we have our cake almost ready to go. We just need to find a pencil or something to draw some hole. I have this mechanical pencil which is super, can you see the tip? It's super, super, super uh, fine. Just draw the mouth like this. But it's necessary because you can hardly see it. Okay? So this is our happy cake over here. Do you like it? Okay, um, if you want to learn more interesting facts about pigs, you can look on the internet. And if you want to show us your work, please uh, post your picture in the comments below. Okay? Um, this is my pig, and we're going to continue with something else, okay? Okay, this, the pig was just a warmer. Um, our big project today 
is a swan in a lake. Okay? So the first thing we need is a surface to put our, our lake on. So I'm going to recycle the boxes in which I found the clay. And oh, I have uh, blue clay that I'm going to use for the lake. And I'm going to save a bit for in case I need anything else, okay? So what the first thing I do is I I create this small surface. I mean this is like this is just the box in which I found the plate, so I'm just going to rip it off. So I have this So I have this area to work on. If you have scissors, this is a good moment to use them. But remember, we use scissors when we're, we're with our parents. If you're alone, don't use them because we don't want any accidents to happen, don't we? Okay, so I have my surface here and what I first do is I start working this um, clay and I put it here using my thumbs. Okay. It's going to be a bit hard, I mean, because your fingers are way smaller than mine, but trust me, this is going to be a very nice experience. You're going to have your own swan lake. Okay. So, recording, perfect. So, we put it over the surface and we continue pulling it. So we have this um, very thin layer of clay over our cardboard or whatever you're using. using our imagination today. So once I have this, that I've covered most of it, I still have some room here, but I'm thinking about um, just putting some plants so it looks prettier. Um, once I have it like this, I'm going to start working on the swans. Okay? So first we have to make sure our hands are super clean because blue is um, a color that goes straight to other colors of clay and white is it's a bit delicate for us to say. Okay, so I start working with my, with my hands, I start working the clay and the first thing I'm going to do is well, I want mommy swan and then I want baby swan to follow her. So, to make the mom uh, separate some clay with the kiss. With this, I mean, I have this bowl. I have this shape like an egg. 
and I start using my fingers to to pull the neck out of here. Okay, we have we can do it both ways. I mean, we could work it out on pieces, but I think in this way you're using your hands a bit more, and it is more difficult for it to drop or to um, fall down if we do it this way, okay? Good. So we start doing this shape like this. And remember, we, we're thinking about the neck so and the head over here, so it, it, should have, it should be strong enough and long enough to look like a swan. Okay? So we have this basic shape of a swan. Okay? So what we do now is we use our little finger or pinky finger to, to um, intrude some of the of the clay here. And now we're going to start lifting the wings off. Like that. It will give us like the effect of the wings. So we are imagining our swan like this swimming in the lake with her baby. And it's pretty much it. Look at it. It's beautiful, doesn't it? So what we do now is, now we have the basic shape of the swan, I put it here and I'm going to start creating the baby so I don't start mixing colors because that, that, then it gets a bit harder, okay? I have the mummy, mummy swan. So what I do first is, I have a little ball which, is, which should be smaller than mummy swan's ball. And then I start doing the same thing, but now I have to be extra careful because the shape is a bit smaller. Okay, look, um, I should be having more clay down here. Okay, so this works like this. I mean, I can start working on the overall shape of the swan if I want to. I mean, in this case, as you already saw, the, the first part, um, I can just um, start pulling the wings, the head, and the neck at the same time, and we should have something like this. This is the shape, the basic shape of our baby swan. I mean, they don't have to look exactly the same because we're talking about. Um, different species. I mean, birds always look a bit mm, childish when they're younger, I mean, which is pretty normal. Okay, so this is baby swan over here, and this is mommy swan. Can you see them? Yes. Okay. So what we do now is the beaks. I mean, we need to work on the beaks. So this is pretty much... This is Pretty basic. I mean, we just take some orange. I mean, I'm recommend if you have a very, very bright orange and a very bright yellow, just combine them. And if it's too bright, you can still put a bit of brown in it, so it looks better. So now the beak of the swan is something like this, like a triangle. Always lifts like here, lifts like this. Now we have the baby swan. This is going to be a big challenge. A big challenging because um, look at this. This is very small. Oh, I, this is a very large beak for this tiny swan. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of clay maybe half of what I had um, before and now I am going to oh sorry yeah um, 
some kind of clay that it gets in your fingernail, so be careful. So, and after you're done with this, you can just clean your hands and your fingernails because it's uh, it can be a bit messy, but it's fun. So what we do now is we need to work on the eyes. Um, well, we can we have two options, and we can either make very very small balls, which I'm going to do with mommy swan. Okay, here's one, and here's the other one. Okay, be careful because black clay can get into different places, and we want our swan to look nice, not to look funny face like a dirt face. Okay, so here it is. Mommy swan is ready. And baby swan, um, what we can do is we can take some clay with the pencil we have. Look what I'm doing here. Um, and we can just divide this in half. So we can have a smaller piece. Okay, be extra, extra careful with this. And it's a baby swan. Super happy. Okay, so we have mommy swan and baby swan. We're going to put them together on the lake. Or cow. Okay. So we need to add some plants now. Okay, for plants, we're not going to do anything fancy or complicated. We're just going to make a, a bunch of leaves. So, so we have the center of attention or center of center of attention. I mean we're going to create this small leaves and we're going to put them here and here around the lake. So a pound. So we can have a very nice project here. Remember that plants don't have to be the same size and we can have small plants, big ones, as long as we have a variety of plants around our spawn. Um, I'm thinking now that we can, I can have some plants on this side and then I can add some rocks on the other side. I think that will look nice. I mean, that this is pretty much up to you. Um, you can use your imagination and your creativity and this is summer course, so so whatever you do is fine, as long as you do something with your materials. And remember, that it's always a nice idea to post your your projects here in the comments below. Okay, so that was going to add some rocks, right? Okay. This is fun! Look, we're using our hands 
to create small vegetation in the air. And then we have rocks. Okay, um, I'm going to use uh, some gray clay with brown and a bit of black to to create different shapes of. different rocks. Remember that rocks are not um, something. Okay, so we have um, a rock over here. We have another rock over here. So the big rocks and then I'm going to create some brown rocks because there's a variety of rocks. Why not? love to see your projects because I mean you can have different rocks, different different um, plants, different colors. The most important part here is that you use your imagination and I think that's the whole point of this summer course. So we do something um, interesting and we make something with our own hands. rocks and vegetation. I would love to see yours. Hey, you're done with our two projects. I mean, as a warmer, we made a pig, which is right here, again, and we made a pound or a small lake with a swan and her baby swan. Remember that we included some rocks and some vegetation? Well, um, as I already said before, remember, you can add flowers, or you can add different leaves or different rocks. I mean, you can add more rocks and vegetation. This is, this is up to you. Or maybe if you want to add more baby swans here, that would be nice. I mean, if your surface is a bit larger, um, you could do that and it would look awesome. Okay? I hope you had fun today and because it was a pleasure working with you. Um, I hope to see your projects and I'll be looking forward to see them. Thank you very much.